Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com. Today I'm going to show you how to drill out your yoke and get rid of these U straps and get some proper U bolts. But first, please subscribe to my YouTube channel right here, Bleep and Jeep, and check out my website, bleepinjeep.com, for all the best off road videos on YouTube. Alright, let's go check it out. Okay, so here's your yoke, your U joint, your U straps, and your drive shaft will be coming out this way. You don't have to take it out of the vehicle, I'm just going to do so to, for simplicity to show you guys. This uh, yoke is very similar on a Dana 44, Dana 35, and a um, Chrysler 8 and a quarter. What you're going to do is you're just going to take out the U-strap. I believe this is 8 millimeter bolts here. A lot of times what will happen on the trail is the heads of these bolts will break off and it will just leave you with something like this sticking up out of here and it's really hard to get out sometimes you have to drill it out sometimes you can get some vice grips on there um, sometimes you can get a flat blade screwdriver on there to turn it out but uh, before that happens to you just go ahead and do this mod and you won't have to worry about it you're gonna pull your drive shaft up out of the way and now all you need is a 5 16th drill bit and you're just gonna drill out the holes to 5 16th I've already done it for you but you're just going to do that. It's pretty soft metal, easy to do. And then you're going to get this. This is part number 81004 in the help section at any of your automotive place places. And uh, sometimes the threads aren't quite long enough. They don't go up the shaft long enough. If that's the case with your yoke um, or your U-bolts, then you're just going to use your tap and die set to bring these threads up a little higher. But basically, you just put your drive shaft back on, put your U-bolts in, comes with a little uh, lock washer and a nut. You put these on and you're all set to go. These U-bolts are a lot stronger. It's also a lot easier to change them out whenever you break one out on the trail and it's a lot easier to take them off um, whenever you need to replace your U-joint. So that's it, we're all done. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel right here, Bleepin' Jeep, and check out my website, bleepinjeep.com, for all the best off-road videos on YouTube. Thanks a bunch.